The Sigfox Network Emulator Kit contains different items. You will find first a flyer which says basically what are the key functions of the SNEC and what is the content of the kit. Inside you will find two different RF cables. First one with an SMA connector on one side and a UFL connector on the other side. And a second RF cable with SMA connectors on both sides. So depending on your module or device connector, you will have to use either of those two cables. You have the SNEC dongle itself, so with a RF SMA connector on one side and a USB connector to plug into your computer. The last accessory inside the kit is actually a 20 dB RF attenuator that you need to put between the SNEC dongle and the RF cable and it's basically used to avoid saturating the RF receiver on the SNEC hardware. To download the SNEC software, go on sigfox.com slash support slash download. On the web page, you will find first a user manual. Inside the user manual, you will have information on how to install the SNEC software on your computer, as well as how to configure the SNEC software in order to be able to decode the Sigfox messages. On the right side, you've got the software package download. You've got both a Linux version and a Windows version. Download the SNEC package and just follow the instruction in order to complete the installation. Connect the dongle to a USB port and then open the SNEC program. A web page will automatically open. On the first page, you will be invited to configure the radio zone for your device, for instance RCZ1 for Europe or RCZ2 for the United States. Under the Devices section, you will need to enter your device ID that you want to monitor. Then in the callback section, it has actually similar functionalities as the real Sigfox backend. You can configure downlink data in direct mode with a fixed payload or select a downlink callback. Data callback allows you to enter an application server URL to forward your device messages. And you have also the possibility to create service callbacks. Under the messages section, you will see the list of messages captured by the SNEC. Remember that you need to put your device in SNEC mode it is usually done through a command or function to activate the public key authentication. If you cannot activate the public key on your device, you've got also the possibility to disable authentication through the interface. Remember that if you are disabling authentication, you won't be able to decode downlink messages on your device or module. 